Now there are many different ways to cut the metal parts for these shelves. I'm going to show you three tools, a hacksaw, an angle grinder, and a cutoff saw. Here's a table that shows the characteristics of the three tools that I'm going to show you. The hacksaw takes a lot of effort and is definitely not as fast as a power tool. It does, however, give the cleanest cut and will give you the best results for angled cuts needed for the edging on the plywood shelves. The cutoff saw and the angle grinder are fast, but they will make a cut that needs some cleaning with a metal file. Since the angle grinder is a handheld tool, it's not as accurate as the other two. Considering the number of cuts that are required for the edging, which is 8 per shelf, you'll find that we need 32 cuts for the four shelves. For the cutting needed to build these shelves, this would be my score sheet for the three tools. The hacksaw is the best choice for the metal edging, even though it takes a lot of effort. When it comes to threaded rods, however, the effort is a bit too much, and a power tool is a better choice. The angle grinder might be accurate enough for flat bar, but it's certainly not for perfect 45 degree cuts. The cutoff saw does a good enough job for both, but it's far more of an industrial tool and you'll need to use a metal file to clean up the rough cuts. Now that we've covered some of the general notes and techniques on the construction, it's time for us to start looking at the details in building each of the different types of shelves. Let's begin. <music> 